If you need some cheap NBA 2K21 MT, go check out NBA2KMT.com. Use code WITNESS for an 8% discount for this month. Link for that will be in the description. If you need to go 12 and 0, complete domination, Evo cards, and other grinding services, go contact Rose NBA on Twitter. Link for that will be in the description. Yo, what's going on, guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K21, my team at Next Gen. In this video, I'm going to take a look at these super packs. I'm not going to open them, to be honest. They're just not worth it just yet, and I'll explain why. I'm going to show you guys a new locker code that came out, and we're going to open up some prize packs as well in this video. So make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel to get it started. Now, these super packs, honestly, they do look kind of dope, but I just know they're just not worth it yet because every card you see right here is going to lose its value. These are pink diamonds. We have Galaxy Opals and Dark Matter cards coming. So these are literally diamond cards or lower end pink diamond type cards that they're just not they're just not worth it yet regardless of how dope they are now the fact that they're vc only just are not worth it I mean, there's obviously some nice cards like kobe pg um ad there's shaq you can get the possessed cards in here you can also get devin booker there's Giannis as well jay rich some idols cards you know and yeah it's definitely a dope drop of super packs t mac but i just i just cannot justify myself spending money on these. It's just, they're money grabs. It's a money grab for 2K. And I mean like, look how, look how many, there's four promos in the auction house right now. Four freaking promos. Like, how much money you want 2K? Like, <laughs> your, these three promos weren't making enough to drop super packs. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with me. I don't recommend opening them, but when, super, when we get more super packs, when there's galaxy opals in them and dark matter, that's when I feel as though it's money better, money not necessarily well spent, but it's better spent. Like it's, yeah, and these pink diamonds are gonna be very cheap one day. No one's gonna really want, they're gonna be budget cards. There's gonna be better versions. Pretty much of all of these cards, like Kobe, PG, they're gonna get Opals and Dark Matters. Same with a Shaq, same with an AD, probably a Vince Carter as well. You know, Giannis and LeBron, definitely they're gonna get Galaxy Opals and Dark Matter cards. And these pink diamonds really, they're nothing compared to what we're gonna get of future cards. That's just my opinion on it anyway. If you do open them, go ahead and do it. You know, do whatever you want, but that's just my personal opinion. But I'm gonna show you guys a new lock code that came out, and then we're gonna dive into some prize packs. With those new super packs, we did get this code right here, which is a nice code, man. You get a free draft pack, flash three or flash four, possessed or an idols KD or Grand Hill pack. So. That is actually a really nice locker code. I definitely mess with this code. Pause it if you have to. We're going into it right now. I don't really know what I want to land most. I mean, if you could land, obviously, the Flash 4 and get the Giannis, that is going to be the best pull possible, really, is if you can pick up that Giannis. So we'll drop it on this side and see what happens, and we'll add it to the, the rest of the packs that we're going to be opening. It's looking pretty good. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Let's go. We actually land the Flash 4, which is who I want. So that does give us somewhat of a chance at getting a pink diamond Giannis. So we now have 15 packs to open. I'll show you guys the packs. We've got some guaranteed diamond and pink diamond players in here. We have a guaranteed diamond Jama Rant. Uh, we have a guaranteed pink diamond Allen Iverson. Um, we have a guaranteed diamond Kiki, which is pretty dope. Probably not going to open them. I'll get this Anderson Barry J out of the way. Probably not going to open them. Probably going to save them for um, the exchange for next season, maybe. You know, I just, I don't want to open them yet. You know, it's not even my account either, so I don't want to open those because they're, they're worth saving for um, the exchange because if you want to add a diamond or a pink diamond card to the exchange for next season, there might be a nice card you want. Surely we're going to get like an, hopefully we're going to get an opal in the exchange next season, which is only about... 11 days, so under two weeks away, which is pretty dope. Which is pretty dope for sure. We got a draft pack right here. Pink Diamond, Luca, or AD maybe. No, we're getting an Emerald card. Not terrible. We, that is that, that Emerald does have some solid value, so not total bad. We got a Manny Ginobili. Can we pick up Pink Diamond Menu, who's kind of cheap at the moment. Here's our value on the auction house, but I still really like that Pink Diamond Menu card. Haven't used him in a while. We don't pull him anyway, but I haven't used that, that Pink Diamond Menu in a while, but he is solid. For sure, he's definitely solid. Loyalty, I don't even remember who's in these. Honestly, I cannot remember. Doesn't matter, because we're only going to get a silver and a gold. Hopefully that Rajon Rondo has some, uh, some decent value. We have a gold consumable pack right here, which is definitely a W, man. Whether it's a contract, hopefully if, if it's a contract, 
or a three point shoe. So we're gonna go silver shoe. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a shoe as well. No, it is a contract, I take that. That's the thing, shoes can be hit or miss. You can get a really good shoe and sell it for a ton, or you can get a really trash shoe and sell it for absolutely nothing. So I'm glad that we were able to um, get a contract because you know it's got guaranteed value. But all of these packs right here, man, are literally from just the Christmas locker codes and everything we got over Christmas. So it's actually pretty dope. This is a guaranteed amethyst right here. I don't know if it's one of the current, like one of the first amethyst or it's a 90 overall, 13 shooting guard. So it's going to be a, a James Harden. So it must just be, yeah, one of the current ones, one of the ones that were in the game from day one. So it's not too high, but you know, it's better than a bronze or a gold or probably any silver in the game as well. We have a promo pack. I mean, there's a Diamond Boogie Cousins, Carlos Boozer, I think. Can we get something shaken? It's not going to matter. We get a Sapphire Kyle Lowry. We do get a Silver Fade Ace badge, which is pretty sweet because the Silver badges sell for more than any other badge. They Silver sell for more than bronzes. They sell for more than gold. So, I mean, really, you want to be getting Silver badges at the end of the day. Well, and then you, it'd be best to get Silver and then Bronze and then you want Gold last. Honestly, they're the cheapest. Gold badges seem to be the cheapest, at least whenever I'm looking for them. I have two base packs. Here. Honestly, I think these are from the lower end of triple threat boards. And we go 10, 10 straight bronzes out of two packs. We get 10 bronze cards. So those were, um, those really literally could not have been worse. Uh, we have a playmaking award pack. I don't know what you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get diamond shoes from these sometimes. Can we get a diamond shoe? Yes, let's go. Yo, speed with ball, pass, hands, layup, and ball. It's a curry four, not a bad shoe. Not a bad shoe, I hope. Hopefully it's got some value. Uh, let's go with Kiki, free diamond Kiki. This card is for getting, it's something I would definitely do on my account. But you get this card for like 50 triple dead online wins, I think. You get a ruby and an amethyst and then a diamond. And Kiki cards, man, they can shoot. I don't even take a look at this card's stats, honestly, but Kiki cards can always shoot. That is a fact from the Nuggets, we'll take it. But yeah, I wanna have a look at his stats, see what his three point shooting is looking like. See what badges 2K messed around and gave him. So definitely for a free card, I'll take that. And I'm sure a lot of people were able to just get close, to, get that card or get close to it just from having Pink Diamond RJ on the board. But the final pack here is our Flash Ball one. 2K, you wanna give me a Pink Diamond? No, nothing's shaking. Nothing's shaking, but it was free, so it was worth a shot. And we do have these two packs right here, which again, I don't want to open on this. Uh, I am borrowing this account. I don't want to open them because this account already has AI and JAR. So as soon as I open them, you're going to have to either send them straight to the exchange or you're going to have to um, just quick sell it. So I think it's best just to leave those. Guaranteed pink diamond, guaranteed diamond though, which is so dope. But yeah, better to save that for the exchange for next season. But we've got this Diamond Kiki 93 overall, 96 offense, 79 on defense, 6 foot 8. Three point shots at a 94. That's really nice. How are those badges? Seven Hall of Fame, 21 gold, catch and shoot corner special, teardropper, blinders, slithery finisher, hot zone hunter, tireless shooter, difficult shots in the gold, circus threes, deep threes, ooh, dead eye sniper, clutch shooter, green machine. Man, that card actually looks really freaking good. That is going to wrap up this video though, guys. Wanted to talk about these super packs and how I don't think they're worth it. They're just a money grab. Um, and show you guys a new locker code, open up some prize packs. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now so you don't miss out on lock codes. I make lock code videos all the time. You'll never miss out if you were sub to this channel right here. And I'll catch you guys on the next upload. It's been witnessed.